How's it going everybody? Welcome back to our channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a VPN for your Firefox browser. I'll also be recommending some services that I think to be the best currently out there and work perfectly with Firefox. And without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to try any of the mentioned VPNs in this video, you'll find the latest pricing and discounts in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, to set up a VPN on your Firefox, you need to follow these few simple steps. First thing you need to do is choose a VPN extension and you can search for and install the extension from the Firefox add-on store. But there are a lot of VPNs out there, so I'll be giving you my recommendations later on in this video, so stay tuned. Next up, you need to sign up for a VPN service. If the VPN extension requires a subscription, follow the instructions provided by the VPN service to complete the sign-up process. And once you have signed up, install it on your Firefox Firefox browser by clicking on the add to Firefox button on the extensions download page. After installing the VPN extension, activate it by clicking on the extension icon on your Firefox browser. You may be prompted to log into your VPN account or enter your VPN credentials. Now, once you have activated the VPN extension, select a VPN server location from the available options. And depending on the VPN extension, you may be able to choose a specific country or city to connect to. Once you've chosen a server, the setup will be completed and you'll be good to go. Now, if you're wondering what VPNs you should try, I've tested most of the services out there and narrowed them down to the top three services that I believe to be ahead of their competitors. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting and they all consistently work of streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you. And I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value of VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. And while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of of gives you more options to fiddle with and that's where the value for the money comes from especially that it's about as fast as expressvpn in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to expressvpn's five device limit so all in all if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your vpn then nord would be the one to get and then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. 
And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video, guys. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions and like and subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful and would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.